Lou, how are you? I am at the point where I am taking a break from every plate. And um, I just have a yanking for pork chops on the bone. Every plate does have pork recipes, but they're not on the bone. Have to have it on the bone. So I love shake and bake. Husband, not so much. But I decided that I am going to make some homemade shake and bake. It says you start off with a 227 grams of panko crumbs and I almost had enough but then I had to top it off with some flavored panko crumbs. Now that I have it all measured out I'm going to put this in a shaker bag. So I found the shaker bag. It has a box bottom. I like it when it has that flat bottom. I'm going to add the breadcrumbs into the bag. So now it gives me a list of the um spices and things to put into the panko crumbs and I'm going to put them in and after each ingredient I am going to shake it up. So the first thing it says is three tablespoons of cornstarch. So here's my nifty tablespoon from the 60s. That's right the 60s. And the next thing is two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. And now I'll give it a shake. It is good to catch air in the bag, and then that way you can give it a good shake. The next thing is two to three teaspoons of salt. The next thing is one tablespoon of celery salt. One tablespoon of onion powder. One tablespoon of paprika. When I looked at the recipe, I knew I had all of these um, spices in my cupboard. Let's give this another shake. One teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of dried basil, and a half a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of black pepper, and a half a teaspoon of um, thyme. Hmm, you know, I do essential oils and, and the tongue smells really good. All right, let's shake it up. This also calls for two tablespoons of canola oil. I don't have canola oil, but I have regular vegetable oil. Two tablespoons. Okay, so my homemade shake and bake is all ready to go. So now I shall get the pork chops. 